so here I am back again with another cool Photoshop tutorial. In this video, I am going to show you how to create an amazing Nike UI concept design in Photoshop. This design is highly inspired from this guy with the name Joshua who is an incredible designer. I have mentioned the link to his portfolio in the description below. So with that said, let's jump into Photoshop and get started. Alright, so here we are in Photoshop. Let's start by creating a new document. So hit Ctrl N so that it brings up a new document panel. And I'm going to call this design for now 1920 by 1080, 300 resolution and 16 bits RGB color. Hit create. So here we have our new document. Let's unlock this, call this BG and add some nice gradient background to this. So let's go right over here add a gradient overlay so I have already added the colors up so you know it's gonna load the previous preset so basically I'm just gonna pretty quickly show you guys the color codes that I'm using for this so this is the lighter one and this is the darker one so you can just copy paste this exact color codes if you want the opacity is set to 100 the angle is set to 90 and I'm using a radial style for the gradient and I'll also have moved it a bit to the top now by default your should look something like this all you have to do is just move this to the top just like that and obviously you can see we get a lot of color bendings because of this and also I can see that it's not in the center so I'm just going to place it like that now to fix the color bendings I'm going to create a new layer call this noise and obviously add some noise to this so first of all I'm gonna add a white color to this so you can hit control backspace to add a white color make sure your background is set to white in order to add the white color to the noise layer go into filter noise and add noise the amount is set to 10% with a uniform distribution you can also go with a Gaussian if you want but uniform works pretty well with this hit OK so you get this kind of colorful noise and then I can set the blending mode to multiply and that should help us to get rid of all the color bendings as you can see. Now let's go ahead and add our shoe on the top just like that. Let's make this a bit small and rotate this. Okay, so that is looking pretty nice let's add some depth to the shoe so what I'm going to do is select this go to effects and add a drop shadow now the drop shadow settings are set to multiply the blend mode is set to multiply opacity of 70 percent angle I have set it to 107 distance I'll set this to 50 and size 150 looks good maybe I'll add some noise of around 2 percent and everything else looks good for the color I'm going with this color you can simply copy paste the color code or you can simply just use a nice black color all right and hit ok and now you can see we have some nice depth now I want to blend in the shoe a bit more with the complete scene so to do that I'm gonna create a new layer called this overlay and set the blending mode to lighten Make sure the layer is selected and hit B to bring up the brush tool. Something around this big and select the foreground color to a nice blue. And then I'm going to add some few clicks just like that. Also, one more thing that you need to do is right click and create a clipping mask. And then I can select the orange color from right here and add one click just like so. And let's go back to blue. And add one just like that and then I can bring down the opacity to around you know something like 16 or 15 percent and as you can see this is gonna help us to blend in the shoe a bit more with the complete scene maybe let's set this to around 15 that is looking very nice now we can now let's go ahead with the design so let's select the text tool set this to white and for the font I'm going with tungsten so I'm going to add a number to this. You can of course add any number that you want or you can also add the shoe number that you're going for. 
so i'm going to place it just like that let's go into this and set this to around 295 and just align this into the center so you can select this select hold control select the background and just align this properly so yep that is looking very nice I think the shoe is a bit too big so I can hit ctrl T actually I'm going to select both this layer hit ctrl G to group them up call this a shoe hit ctrl T to bring up the oh select this hit ctrl T to bring up the transform properties and let's make this a bit smaller just like that and same for the background text as well Okay, so that is looking pretty nice. Let's go ahead and start adding up some nice elements. But before that, let's add the logo. Make this really nice and small. I'm going to place it right over here. And let's add a color overlay. Set this to white. Hit OK. All right, that is looking good. Now I'm going to add some shoe info at the right side. Or the left side not the right so I'm gonna select the rectangular tool and create a shape just like so and for the color I'm gonna go with a really nice red one and let's actually hit ctrl T make it a bit bigger okay so that is looking perfect let's select the text tool again and i'm gonna add 45 or type in 45 which is gonna be the shoe number or the shoe size so let's play this just like that using using the arrow keys i'm gonna align this properly and i can hold alt and drag this create a copy call this xl make sure it's all caps bring down the size to around 20 or around maybe 15 yeah let's place this on right here and call this nike bring down the size of this one to around eight and we increase the spacing a bit let's go with 50 so that is looking pretty good let's select the background and the noise and lock this so we don't mess up with the background and that is looking pretty nice i think i'm gonna make this a bit more small so i'll select the excel and the nike text hit ctrl t and let's bring that down a bit okay Now I can select them, hit Ctrl G to group them up. Let's call this red box. You can of course call it whatever that you want. So let's hit Ctrl J to duplicate it. Call this blue box. All right, put this below. Now select the red box group. Go to effects drop shadow and i'm going to play around with some settings so let's first of all bring down the size to 100 and let's bring up the opacity to 75 hit ok then select the blue box i'm going to turn off the auto select and show transform and let's pull this down just like so okay so you get a better idea of what i'm going for and then i'll set this to a nice um, blue color just like that and now i can go back into the drop shadow and adjust a few settings so i'm gonna bring down the distance a bit all right that is looking much better now let's select the blue box text i'm gonna add some detail to this so let's call this custom And Excel, I'm gonna call this style. Now 
let's zoom in and i can align this to the right and place it in the position that i want just like so and for the custom color i can go with just like the background color that is blue and same for the nike as well so turn on the auto select select nike text and add the blue color so that is looking pretty nice let's create one more copy really quick select the blue box at control j put this below call this yellow box select this and let's using the arrow keys i can just pull this out there we go and add a nice yellow color to this so that is looking pretty nice let's change the text so this time i'm going to call this nike and for the style i'm going to call this sports select both of these text align it to the right and let's place this just like that and one more thing that i would like to do is select the red box and make it a bit bigger in size so i can select this hit control t and let's make this big that looks much better i think Now let's change the text so let's type in the text i'm gonna call this maybe 180 18 this i'm gonna call this 05 also i'm gonna add a menu bar element right over here just like that select this hit ctrl e to merge them hit ctrl t and then let's bring down the size just like that and place it into the position and that is looking pretty sweet let's add a color option right over here which is pretty simple all i have to do is select the ellipse tool and create some circles just like that And place it right over here let's create some duplicates select them all and align it properly just like that so i can just double click open that up and add some nice color to this and there we go Finally, on the red one, which is the selected one, I'm going to go and add a glow. So let's add an outer glow on this. For the outer glow, I'm going to go with a nice red color. Opacity will be around 50. Oh. And everything looks good. Maybe size, I'll set this to 10 and spread to 2. Noise is set, range is set to 50% and everything else looks good. Blending mode to screen, maybe increase the opacity or bring that down a bit. Hit OK and that is looking pretty nice. Let's select them all again. Hit Ctrl G, call this colors. And let's align them properly into the center. Maybe I'll make them a bit small. I think they're a bit too big. So something like that. And select that. Select the background layer unlock this and just align this properly pretty nice now let's select the text tool and add the price of the product obviously so let's bring down the text size and i'm gonna call this or uh, type in 90 dollars and i can select this make this a bit smaller just like so so let's turn on our auto select 
hit control T make this a bit smaller just like that pretty nice now I'm gonna highlight this a bit so I'll set this to around 20 and then what I can do is let's actually close up everything uh, yeah now let's create a new layer call this highlight okay select select the elliptical marquee tool and let's create a circle just like this big maybe i'll move this like so select the highlight layer select the brush tool and i'm gonna go with a nice orange color and just add a few clicks just like that and then i'll select the blue color and add few clicks just a touch hit control D and now we have this really nice highlight so I can select this hit control J to duplicate this hit control T and bring this really big and up and use it as element just like that maybe I can bring this back and scale up the size a bit hold alt and I'll duplicate this place one copy right over here and obviously make this a bit smaller so you can see it looks pretty sick and finally do some really simple photo filter on this so I'll use the cooler cooling filter LBB with the density of around 18 you can see before and after so there you go there you have your cool kind of a sci-fi style nike ui design inside of photoshop using some very simple steps again make sure to check out joshua from behance i have mentioned the link in the description below he has some amazing artworks you shout out to him and yeah that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did make sure to subscribe comment like and follow me on instagram at dope.motions i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out